least this job has kept me in shape. I haven't gained weight my entire career, and you can too. Just follow my plan. Part one, eat less than a thousand calories a day. Impossible? Not if you do what I do. Part two, earn less than $9,000 a year. <laughs> I may be skinny, but I'm also hungry. <laughs> Last time I did my taxes, I thought, I've been doing this since college and have barely made expenses. That's when I realized I am more than just a comedian. I am a non-profit organization. <laughs> mm. We never had money growing up. I remember asking my parents if we were poor. And they told me, you'll always be rich as long as everyone in your family loves each other. <laughs> so we're middle class. <laughs> Money isn't everything. My mom always told me, appreciate the things in life that can't be bought, like sunsets or starry nights or fresh fallen snow. That way it won't be such an adjustment if you have to live outdoors. <laughs> I can't even afford to eat correctly. I was in London last summer, I got food poisoning. I lost six kilograms. See, a lot of Americans don't understand that because it's metric, but I did the math and six kilograms is over $80,000 in cocaine. <laughs> That joke works better in Miami. <laughs> I was in London for a wedding, which I've never done. And the longer I've been single, the more my family's opinion has changed. At first they thought, well, he's probably just being really choosy. Then after 10 years, that became, do you think he might be gay? <laughs> but not anymore. Now they're certain I'm gay and way too choosy. <laughs> One girlfriend accused me of fear of commitment, but that is not true. I've been with the same cell phone company eight straight years. <laughs> I commit just like my parents, and I'm gonna stay with that cell phone company just like my parents because I'm on their plan. <laughs> And she really wanted to get married. Once a month, she'd have this nightmare where she was dressed in a wedding gown. She'd run up the steps to a church and she couldn't get inside. You know what's weird? I have that exact same nightmare. But in mine, I'm inside the church holding the door. <laughs> but she cheated. That's why I found out. You can tell a lot about someone about how they react if you ask to borrow their smartphone. If they refuse or get defensive, that's a bad sign. But if they hand it over and give you the password, you can be pretty sure they have another phone. 